At Marshox we believe the best way to learn anything is to do it yourself. The Marshox app helps you learn maths and science through deeply engaging, open-ended interactivities. Every concept is taught through audio-visual rich multimedia and reinforced with rigorous practice in various modes like filling blanks, drag and drops, marching items, and tapping to reveal. Going beyond this practice are the deep interactivities, using manipulatives that allow free reign to students to test hypotheses and solidify understanding. Look for details on these interactivities in the lesson videos that will be provided with each lesson which will give general overviews while highlighting the key activities. How to use Marsh Sharks to learn better We can look at the student's journey from learning to performance as a play of three acts. Study, test and prepare. When you study, you start with the pre-test you move on to the lesson. Lesson which contains the core content that you have to learn. While you are studying the lesson if you have any questions you go to the glossary, you clarify any terms that you need to understand. If you have further questions you contact the teacher at Marshalks by phone or email and you go back to the lesson. You can also attend the online classes conducted by our e-tutors at Marshalks where you can interact with the teacher ask questions and practice with their guidance. You must ensure that you complete each and every activity, each and every screen and you come out without any doubt with the full understanding of the lesson. If you have any problems working on a particular screen, tap the help button to receive instructions on how to do the activity and what to expect. When you have worked through all screens of the topics, go to the post-test and you see how you improved your knowledge of the lesson. You can compare your post-test score with your pre-test will give you an idea of the improvement and your understanding. You also look at analytics to see how you have been engaging with the lesson. Parents are also recommended to check analytics to see how their children are engaging with the content. The post-test scores will give you an idea of what gaps might still exist in your understanding of the concepts taught in the lesson and it is recommended that you go back to the lesson, fill those gaps, come back to the post-test and attempt the questions again. These will be new questions but they will give you further practice and a deeper assessment of what you have learned in the lesson. Repeat this process as many times as you need ensuring that your understanding is complete so you can move to the next stage which is the test. The test stage is where you test yourself and your understanding of what you have learned. You start with the revision tool because you have already gone through the whole lesson. You don't need to repeat everything again. You go to the revision tool which will help you revise the key concepts. The revision tool itself will allow you to focus on any gaps that you find and link you back to the lesson if you need to redo some part of lesson that you think you are weak in. Once you are confident that you have understood all that needs to be done in the lesson, you move to the insert textbook and insert exemplar questions. Ensure that you do many of these questions. You improve your understanding and then take the post-test again. The post-test scores will give you a good idea of how well you have understood what was taught. Also as you did in the study phase, go to the analytics tool and look at how well you have engaged. Look at your scores and get an overall picture of how well you are doing in the full understanding of all that is to be learned in that lesson before you can move to the next step which is preparing for the exams. In the exam preparation part, you once again will start with the revision tool. If there are any gaps, you go to the lesson and you solidify all that you had to learn and then you attempt the sample question papers. These question papers are based on the CBSE pattern and they will give you practice of all the questions that you can expect in the final exam paper. There are five of these, attempt all of them. Look at the question papers first. Try to answer them in a pen and paper format and then go back to the solutions of the sample question paper and see how well you did. This should be the final phase. After this, US won't be ready to ace your final exams.